Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chad. This is week 14 of studying in Japan. It is the first week of my break and let's get right into it. As you can tell, it's the first-ish week of July and thus uh, the Festival of the Weaver happened and so this happens to me like my little uh, bamboo tree with some of our uh, prayers tied to it. It's a very interesting holiday. I actually ended up spending it at a beach with Alex. We went to, it was about an hour and a half bike ride from here. It was this beach where it's pretty much just us. And we let off fireworks and bottle rockets and swam and fished and the sunset was gorgeous. And we did film all of it, but there was a bit of a hiccup. Something happened, Alex and I are working on recovering the video because I planned on having that video be next week's video and I'm pretty sure we can we just have to you know work on some stuff I'm not confirming that that's gonna be the video but that's what we're gonna try and do but until then you can look at my pretty fake bamboo plant and we can uh, get right into what happened this week since it was the first week of my break I decided to for my own sanity just take it a bit slower than I normally would I was very gung-ho and I still am gung-ho but I had to realize that like everybody needs even just a slower pace for a little bit so I decided just to stick with the slow pace that the school was putting us through and decided just to have more fun this first week and then after this I'll keep hitting it really really hard. I mean we went to the beach for that uh, summer festival, um, I got a new bike, a sweet pink fiery bike, that's kind of why I did the bike video uh, last Wednesday. Me and Alex went out to eat, like I just kind of spent this week more relaxed and trying to be a normal human being because it's technically my summer break so I'm just trying to not kill myself with work just yet. I also got a new teaching job. I'll be helping out this new cute little first grade guy. Um, basically his parents just want to play games. Like they, they want to work on his listening and his speaking and so, I mean I bought all this stuff for like bingo, bingo and like card games that we can play and uh, it, it sounds like fun. It, it'll definitely help me here but it, it definitely sounds like a lot of fun. The issue is it's like an hour and 40 minute bike ride from my house so it's like a little annoying, but you know, hey, I'll take I'll take money wherever I can get it. That's pretty much all the life updates. Um, I, I don't think I have anything I'm missing. I might be. Pretty much this summer break's just gonna be me really studying hard and then probably once or twice a week going somewhere cool and interesting and then I'll film it and put it up for you guys. So be expecting something along that format. But for the reason probably why you guys came here, let's talk about how I studied this week. So this week uh, by the way, I have everything written down here in case you see me looking down. Because the Chu I'm in Chu Kyuei Eco, it's the first intermediate book that Genki uses. Because I'm in that, the book doesn't explain the grammar points, except for like one little line in English, and it doesn't talk about the exceptions, it doesn't talk about the circumstances you use it. Um, so what I decided would be best would not be focusing on grammar during this break, but purely cramming kanjis, both uh, yomikata, and kakikata, as well as meanings, as well as vocab. I want to finish this book's vocab, and then if I have to buy the next book in the line on my own dime, I don't care. I want to just keep studying words and keep growing it, um, which brings me to my words. My current word count of things that I know, um, just from studying in Japan and with Genki Jacks, is 1,853. That's Genki 1, Genki 2, Chukueiko, and then a few of the other things that I do myself but it's 1,853. Also, for meanings, I am using Heisig's method. This is remembering the kanji, and I am currently at uh, number 595. So I do, I'm a big advocate of setting goals, and not like, not just far off goals like fluency that are kind of transcendent and change meaning, but I'm a big fan of putting real life goals and mile markers on the way. So this break, or I should say this, break, what I would really like to do is to get to a thousand Heisig words. So one of those milestones that I'm doing is I want to learn a hundred next week, which isn't that bad considering I really only study Monday to Friday and I review on Saturdays and Sundays. I review throughout the week as well, but like I do mass reviews on Saturdays and Sundays. That's really only 20 new kanjis a day. So it's not upping my amount a ton. And what I want to do is if I keep that pace up to the rest of this time, that'll get me 500 kanjis by the time I'm done with everything. And that'll put me at a thousand, basically almost 1100. So it'll put me over my goal because I want a little bit of cushion because hey, we all get sad. We all get depressed. We want to take a day off and lie in bed and cry ourselves to sleep. 
I'm no exception to that. So I'm giving myself kind of a cushion. So that way it's, I'm overachieving the goal. So even if I underachieve a couple days, I'll hit the goal. So I'd really have to underachieve quite a few days to miss it. Little uh, go-getter go -getter tip from the Zimmerman Chan San Sama. God, I hate myself. Also, uh, to keep up my reading, uh, the school did give us a whole bunch of homework. I'll be doing that as well. I also bought, uh, minus it being all crinkled now, I bought a whole bunch of newspapers that I would love to try and go through, even just a couple paragraphs of it to see kind of where I'm at. I consider being able to read a Japanese newspaper my reading proficiency. That's the goal I hit for this end of the year. I want to be able to read a Japanese newspaper. But I also have, I bought a manga series that I really want to start and really want to read. And I have a couple other things, I have some children's books and you know, various things that I definitely want to get through to finish. For speaking practice, it's going to be a little rough. So Alex obviously came from America. She doesn't speak hardly any Japanese. I will be speaking a lot more English now than I was before, because before it was pretty much at school and on camera and then everything else was Japanese. So I have a feeling because my break will be over while she's still here, I'll probably, my speaking level will probably go down, but it really only takes two weeks or so for it to bounce back. So it's not like, it's not detrimental. It's just kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna, just gonna push through. I'm going to enjoy having her here and we'll just continue to study however we can. For listening comprehension, that's the other thing. So I have a bunch of friends here. I'll be hanging out with them. I'll be watching whatever I can actually watch. Japan's very strict right now on streaming. So I am investing in a tunneler to allow me to stream what I can. I don't have a DVD player, otherwise I would rent DVDs, but they don't really have too many legitimate anime sites you can watch because even like Crunchyroll is blocked here except for three anime. So it's like, well, I guess I'll just have to stream on Netflix and stream on Amazon for what little they have and then use a tunneler. So at least then I'll be able to keep up with you hood rats and all your cool anime lingo. I mean, that's really about, I think that's about it for study-wise. I mean, that's my goals for just this next week in this general five-week period. I'm going to keep hitting it hard. I recommend you guys keep hitting it hard. Before I finish, I do want to say, I don't really keep up on news or anything like that from America. My feed has been blowing up with two things, Pokemon Go, which, who cares? And the second thing is all that police and, and violence thing. So if you're American, my heart does go out for you guys. I am still one of you, even though I live abroad. You guys extend such a big ear for me, and and this isn't like a one-way thing. It's not me spitting and then you guys listening. It's a There's a reason there's so many of us. It's because we're a community, and if you guys are in America and you're sad or angry or scared or confused or you just don't know what to feel and you just want to say something, I offer up my services. I do still speak English, so if you guys just want to vent or to say something to someone, you guys got me. We can talk, and so I do extend that invitation to you guys if you are needing it. My heart obviously goes out to both the families of all the victims being, I should say the non-police victims being shot as well as the police victims being shot. I'm not trying to make this political, so I won't give my opinions on it. I don't think my opinions will do anything but fan flames. What I wanna do is I wanna understand and I wanna listen. So if you guys need that, if you need someone to understand or someone to listen. That's what I'm here for, and that's actually where I'm gonna end it this week. If you guys like this video, be sure to like it down below. Actually press the like button. It makes the video be seen by more people. It lets me, <sighs> what the heck was that? Share my content with more people. When you search random things on YouTube, my videos will come up more if the like button is pressed. And so if you guys actually like the video, please, please, please do like the button down below. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, compliments, or obviously talking about recent events, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. Or private message me, or tweet me, I do read all of them. I'm happy to answer it, I always do, it just takes me generally about a day to get back to everybody, but I always do, and I continue, or at least plan to continue to do that because I do love all of you guys, and I want to answer any questions that I can. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, you enjoyed this series, I have another series on Wednesdays where I talk about travel, Japan, Japanese language and culture, and it's about my life here in Japan. And if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to my channel, considering pressing that subscribe button because it's not a number thing. What it is is you guys will basically get my videos plugged into your feed every single week so you don't have to miss anything that I'm doing or be like, oh, I wonder what he put out this week. If that sounds like something you would like, please, please, please do consider subscribing. It helps me 
tremendously. And with that being said, I love you guys so much. Please be safe. Please be kind to one another. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.